Rob and I'm from B2B Minds, brought to you by Purple Minds. We are a B2B agency helping companies globally with their B2B marketing, including lead generation, uh, content marketing, ads, SEO, influencers, and more. I have with me today Anker, who is our uh, lead marketing manager. Hello, Anker. Hi, Rob. Hi, everyone. Great to have you here. Um, let's talk about um, how to target the right audience for your global B2B marketing campaign. Um, so it's extremely important, of course, that you know you have the right audience for your, your product or service. Uh, what would you recommend what is involved for the selection of this uh, audience? Yeah, sure. So targeting the right audience actually is uh the, the, actually, one of the first step, very essential uh, step, actually, for boosting the B2B business. So first, for sure, we need to um, identify the, the right uh, person, personas, right? Like uh, those kind of like based on the product. So what, where is your customers located? Their demographics, uh, psychographics, and also their uh, buying behavior. For example, if you want to sell some fashion products, right? Based on the price of your brands, like if that is luxury or like the the price is fair, uh, you will target on like different uh, audiences. Like okay, it's women or it's uh, girls in the college or you know the 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 white colors in the office. Uh, and also for sure, uh, this also involved in targeting the markets. So where actually your tar- uh, targeted aud- uh, audience actually located? In a remote area, urban area, in a school or. Um, uh, for the, like a normal, uh, like uh, you know, like a high social status family or what kind of that, and their pain points actually why they need your product, and then also um, also do uh, analytic on your uh, target markets like a due diligence right research uh, of your competitors like what are they, uh, what kind of like efforts they did like marketing uh, is most effective. Uh, and what kind of like audience they're targeting, right? So to to actually to make sure that as far as to make sure that your business is more and more competitive uh, from a different angle or any uniqueness you can bring to your audiences, um, and also the right channels you need to choose to use, like in the matter for social media or for Google ads, uh, and also for any like email marketing or like uh, social media, uh, so, uh, social search engine like uh, Google search engine or Bing ads, etc. Uh, and also about the content, how to deliver your message to your audiences. So the, in this case, you actually need to polish your marketing message to uh, the targeted audience, which include uh, not only like using your, their language uh, to know what they're thinking of, and also the trend in, that, in their group, certain group like, uh, you know, for the young 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 people or for the older people um, and also uh, clearly addressing the pain points and offer a, a relevant solution. So that in general why it's so important how we target the right audience. All right, thank you for that. So let's discuss a bit about the content marketing. Of course, very critical to represent your brand and to talk in the right way to your audience. What kind of tips can you give us uh, for that? Uh, yeah, for sure. So this, we need actually to keep polishing all the content, right, strategy, the content marketing for those kind of like uh, B2B business to target, uh, to deliver to the, the audience that we have. So first, uh, for sure, the visual uh, we need to use, which is very important. It plays very essential uh, role in actually to get, uh, uh, get your product more attractive, to uh, attract those kind of readers and viewers and potential buyers. Um, and actually, for human beings, inevitably, right, the the visual actually explain more than the you know everything like the audio, right, and uh, you know it's it's more important. Uh, so in this case, by optimizing those kind of visual concept, uh, we can make the make sure that it convey your message like most mostly and effectively to the audiences. Um, and also, it's very important um, to also combine this with like a visual, like graphic, right, or uh, also right in social media and also the videos to combine together to make it uh, consistent. Um, so we can tell the story. Um, so it's actually can apply to different industries, not only B2B, but in B2B it's also quite essential and critical. Um, so in this case, we can create a memorable experience for um, the audiences. 
uh, embedding stories into the content and make the, all the marketing material and contents more uh, appealing and uh, relevant and more uh, memorable instead of just presenting facts, uh, right? So telling story is always the most effective solution for the business uh, business boosting. And also, um, always try to use the data and the statistics, right, to analyze um, your the performance of any marketing solution, and based on that, keep uh, you know uh, polish and optimizing the strategies. Um, and uh, for the content uh, marketing itself, may try to make sure that it can be more personal. So uh, personal actually touches can make a huge difference when your audience actually senses. Um, this kind of like, uh, you know, special, right, uh, you know, delivered messages and content, for sure they will uh, choose uh, that B2B, right, business and other competitors. And they more likely want to connect it with that. So use a conversational tone or, or show personal um, tone where relevant to speak directly to your audience's needs and concerns. And the, the last point is be every content marketing solution, we need to make it consistent. Um, so it can keep establishing a really consistent con con concept for your brand, uh, helps getting more people on board and also maintain the existing users, right? They, so they possibly will be uh, more adhered to your brand and will not really leave and find another brand uh, such as your competitors. So in general, uh, the content, um, Crafting the content and uh, a really uh, sophisticated content strategy is super important and plays a very important role in the global B2B audience in marketing. Yeah. Thank you. And, and in terms of social media, we know social media plays a very important role for consumer oriented brands, but for you know B2B business, especially from the global perspective, um, it's still quite relevant. Um, what would you say is, is involved there in terms of the important points? Yeah, for sure. Social media is actually one of the most, right, uh, also uh, quite emerging like, marketing uh, platforms actually we use for promoting B2B marketing. It's not only like connecting uh, like as a personal account, like connecting friends, but also for the promotion of B2B uh, marketing. So in this case, for sure, first important that like, actually we can choose the right platforms. Like uh, what we, we we can think of, right? Like uh, for some like really fashion brands that facing like the price is fair, like facing for young girls, right? We can do possibly like, it's also based on the different geo location. For example, in some like Southeast Asian countries, they really use Facebook a lot. And in some East Asian countries, they use like WeChat or, or Lines, right? Or Yahoo, or different platforms. So the social media actually uh, is super important. And also uh, for some business, right? Uh, for some, right, really a business, right? Uh, brand that you want to promote any stuff or something that you can also do some LinkedIn, um, right? The promotion, like you can promote your, your profiles, your brand, you know, LinkedIn. Uh, though also for the other things like Facebook and Twitter, it's also a, a place for B2B, uh, B2B promotion, but it depends mainly on the targeted audience and uh, if that is a small SME or you know some bigger brands or something like that. And also another thing is for the consistency. So no matter in which industry, the consistency plays a very important role. Um, so if we want to tell a story, we want to see, okay, we should want to show some samples, we case studies and portfolios, right? We, we would better make a, a consistent story out of that to try to con uh, uh, convincing the clients actually join the platform and they use the, the, the product. Um, and also hashtags in different social medias uh, is also quite crucial and um, essential, right? So use the hashtags that actually are on, on top of the trend because all, always, right, we have a different uh, topics, very hot topics in the worldwide. Um, so we can always try to integrate those kind of solutions to use with those, right, the kind of uh, a trendy, hashtags, uh, as well as considering the relevance of the hashtag and also the search volume uh, impressions of hashtags. Um, and also another point is actually always um, try to get anyone who can actually play as your social media manager to engage with the audience often, no matter the like or you can find any like relevant news or uh, you know, interesting uh, posts you can retweet or you can comment, uh, you can interact with the comments with your audience. 
and always try to spend time we, even with any like all those kind of audience posts, right, comments. You can get some feedback, you can get always also some uh, chat, and uh, you know, this can bridge you know, the, the brands and also the customers together really closely. Um, and then another and also uh, very useful solutions for uh, the social media ads, for example, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, ads, which we can set uh, you know, the specific larger location, demographic, uh, and target a different uh, a certain age of the customers, right? Uh, also, the search keywords that uh, you know similar accounts that followed, we can actually get really a uh, very effective performance up from that. Um, so, in general, what I think that uh, you know social media uh, marketing is very important, especially it's actually growing slowly, right? Uh, comparing with also those kind of normal uh, promotion solutions. So as far as you know, this young generations and they they're growing up and they actually those kind of social media right come with them since they grow to they actually own their own business. So it's something we really need to focus on. Yeah, so that is my opinion on this uh, social media marketing solution for B two B businesses. All right, and then in terms of localization in your global B two B marketing strategy, obviously B two B minds we we focus on helping businesses to promote their B two B brands. Uh, around the world um, but there's also localization strategy obviously countries do have like different um, cultural and, and, and language aspects to them um, how do, do you deal with that what can you tell us about that yeah for sure uh, so the, in this case uh, it, uh, we first we need actually find some like uh, to overcome this language barriers by uh, finding some like professional translators <laughs> and also, it's not only translate the language directly to another language, but also uh, get a sense of their different culture. For example, what do we see, right? Because uh, uh, we, we also uh, uh, witnessed some business actually they did very nicely, right? In the in the foreign promoting the different country uh, using different language. So, for example, if they want to promote a, uh, a Europe can uh, company that want for the most their best to be business in like East Asia. Uh, they actually need to get a sense of like, okay, what kind of like a new, like, you know, sometimes it comes to some new words, right? Like always in different countries. So we need actually to get a really a very uh, local, like sense of like translators or local people to provide those kind of trend. And we can integrate with uh, that, right, to the content for promotion. <clears throat> uh, and then uh, for sure it's, it's super important because recognizing and respect the local customers traditional uh, right from a religious perspective and also from a cultural perspective uh, in the content uh, by aligning uh, marketing messages with local values businesses which can, can actually build a trustworthy and avoid the culture missteps um, and also you uh, actually try to use more like a local uh, visuals like images and videos so in the, uh, so by doing this we can have uh, uh, you know all, all this kind of sensitivity like uh, relatability using visuals that uh, resonate right with the local audiences uh, this generate uh, images in the favor of those uh, showcasing local scenery and people um, and for some like a uh, uh, search engine like uh, it's like uh, about content right if you post any content about you know the local in the local language you also make sure that uh, you know it's discoverable by aligning with local search habits incorporate the region specific keywords um, in your website content the metadata um, the last point is actually run local marketing campaigns um, this can increase the success rate of your marketing by customizing campaigns to local taste. This can be done by different strategies like some local marketing platforms or some, um, you know, the social medias, right, in each country. For example, some countries will use, right, also those global social media channels. Some will be not. They will use some very localized uh, channels. So in this case, we will also adapt to these marketing campaigns, right, in different platforms. But we anyway, we need to do... a. Uh, really um, uh, sophisticated research and uh, analytic before we really execute on this. Um, so that is in general my opinion on like how to use localization strategy for global B2B marketing. All right, let's talk a bit about the KPI. So uh, what would you say are like the main uh, things to measure the success of a B2B marketing campaign? 
Mm, yeah, that is a, a good point. Actually, you know, no matter what kind of like solutions we did, right, we still need actually uh, some kind of like quota or performance or numbers uh, to see if that is really success or not and how to optimize, right? So first the point is about the, uh, you know, keep an eye on the website traffic. So website traffic uh, normally, right, it will be actually uh, increasing gradually uh, if actually we did really and maintain a really nice uh, marketing strategy. So we can keep an eye on the website traffic and also the clicks of, uh, for uh, all these kind of sections will actually stay longer, like which contents actually they prefer, how long time they stay on our website. All this kind of number actually which can help us to uh, do a really, um, um, like a thorough, uh, how to say, like a uh, uh, sophisticated, right, and uh, uh, enough actually uh, analyzing on this kind of number uh, and to make sure that we do a proper marketing uh, plan after that. So the software we can try to use like platforms like uh, Google Analytics, right, and also other platforms like uh, combined with other platforms like SEMrush, right, we can do also some competitor analyzing, also our website like backlinks, toxic links analyzing to keep working on this kind of SEO and promotion. Uh, social media engagement is also important because we also need to do social media marketing like content engagement. So what we can see is from most of social media we can see the impression they have a dashboard where we can keep track on the impression, the conversion, um, the shares engagement. If we run any social media ads, we can also see the, the click, the call, uh, cost per click, uh, cost per lead. So based on which data, we can actually keep uh, polishing our marketing strategy. Uh, because market is changing every day, right? And people's uh, taste also changes. So we need actually have a dynamic solution for this kind of social media uh, marketing solution. And this data can definitely help. Um, then the third one is about the lead generation. So um, for sure, finally, we, we need to check the leads, right? Um, so depending on how many leads we can uh, convert, if we, well, for example, if we get a really high impression, we get really high clicks, but we don't really have leads, there's definitely something wrong with the targeting and also we need to optimize the content, we have to uh, optimize the Google ads, even the visuals, and the, uh, visuals including graphic and videos. Um, so uh, the platform we, we can use like a CRM system like uh, Salesforce uh, or HubSpot manage and track these leads. Um, the final, actually, also the most important, right, and uh, uh, which actually come to the last is the sales. Uh, everything actually we did is for sales. So which represents the direct outcome of marketing endeavors showing clear IIO, IOI. So it's a combination of various strategies, translation interest into revenue, integrated sales tracking software within CRM platforms helps to monitor this metric. So by working on these four points, actually, we can get a clear vision of how actually the metric go, what kind of like data we get, or the performance of the marketing strategy, and we uh, do all this optimization, customization on the uh, improving the marketing strategy. So that is my idea about this, uh, measuring the success of the global B2B marketing campaigns. All right. Thank you for that, Anchor, and see you all next time. Goodbye. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye, Rob. Thank <laughs> you.